Welcome to Ellie Max SFX with your favorite makeup artist, Eleanor Rose Sander, and your awesome narrator, Max Moser. In today's episode, Ellie picks her nose with a demon finger. A fan pops her head in the window. And q tips are they really meant to be toothbrushes? Who are you? A makeup has no name. Who are you? I will give you a sight. Today, today I'm going to show you how to do this very cool looking makeup look, but I have no idea what to call it. So that one's kind of up to you. So I want you to write in the comments and tell me what we should call this. I'm very happy with it. It's artsy. It got fingers, sharp nails, streaks, cool lipstick. What should we name it? <laughs> yes. This makeup requires intermediate skills, takes about 30 to 40 minutes to prepare, and one to one and a half hour to apply. You'll need gelatin and glycerol, black food color, black elemorph plastic, glue, some clay, liquid latex and watercolor, foundation, eyeshadow, an eyeliner, purple and orange lip gloss, purple and black colors, and tissues. Let's begin by creating the nails. For that, we're gonna need elemorph plastic in black color. We heat up some water. And get bored. Alright, so our water is ready to use. Pour in the black Elimorph plastic pellets into the water. Let them go soft. Then pull off a little chunk and start working. We need to create little strips, tiny thin little strips. This piece will be enough for two nails. So we separate them and then we use a pair of scissors to cut a sharp edge on it. Flatten it out, trim it a little bit, and see there, what a little pinky nail. And then we put it back into the water to make it soft again. And when it's all soft, we can continue to shape it and push it down onto our nail so it matches up the shape of the nail. Makes for much easier attachment later on. When you're satisfied, go on, do some more, five will be enough. Then we need some clay, so we bring that out, any kind of clay would do for this. Warm it up, flatten it out, and then simply wrap it around your little pinky. And when you squeeze the edges together there, make sure it's watertight, because we're gonna pour some goo into this. That looks nice. Now gently wiggle that finger out of there. Yay! Alright. Gelatine time. So we take water, some glycerol, and scoops of gelatine. Any kind of gelatine will do. Ellie roughly mixes it with equal parts water, glycerol, and gelatine. Mix it and that too goes into the microwave. In 15 second bursts, don't want that to get too hot. Next up is black food color. Without dropping the cap, pour it in there and mix it up good. Blackness. And then we take a little finger mold and pour the gelatin in there all the way up. And then you can knock on it like this. Make sure the bubbles goes away. And yeah, do five of them. Well, the gelatin has set and cooled down. We can just peel it off and we have a super detailed finger. And quite a bouncy finger it is. So let's finish them up and make them demon-ish by adding the nails we created earlier. We apply some glue to the gelatin fingernail and then apply our Elimorph plastic nail onto it. You can pretty much use any glue you got, maybe even skin adhesive, but I'm not sure it's gonna work that well though. But you can always try and tell us in the comments how it worked out. Five fingers ready, let's do the makeup. The shout goes to Soul Case Emulsion, Mandy. She says she's pretty new to the face painting scene, but hey, her stuff looks really great and some FX there as well. Today she has 46 followers, what do you say we make that 246? Tell her we said hi. We start this off with a little primer and then head straight for the foundation. 
cover your face up and head for some powder. Next up we need to bring the shape of our face back with a little shade on our cheekbones, temples and whatever your usual routine is you can actually do here. Just make it pop a little extra. There now. Looking good. We thin down the nose a little by adding some on the sides there as well. And then we head for the brows and Ellie always has her epic brows on and uh, well this is how they are created. And you see what she's doing, so I don't have to describe it for you. But one thing is for sure, and that is that she is really, really concentrated here. Totally zoned out. But then again, that's why her brows always looks epic. Highlight there as well. Then we continue with eyeshadow, and the keyword here is always blend, 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 blend. So, and right about now, you have to start thinking about what colors you're gonna use for your spatter around the eyes and your lips. Ellie went with purple around the eyes and orange lips. So Ellie has that in mind when she is creating her look for the eyes here. There, solid black eyeliner to begin with and then fluffy 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 again. And a crazy makeup in Swedish is and Golden Sminkning. Switching the black for a dark brown makes for a good fade out of the makeup. Heading on with purple here, and this is where Ellie starts to match the eye makeup with what's coming. And right about now, a friend and fan decides to pop her head in the window. Hey. Shut up! Hey. What are you doing? Not Ellie. Hey. Time to put the pop in this makeup, so we go for lip gloss with a nice purple color. Letting the spatter go in a pattern out from the inner corner. And then we switch to watercolors and black. Use a mascara brush to do little streaks along the skin around the eyes. This look was actually recorded before the NYX Nordic Face Awards graffiti look, sort of as a proof of concept, if you will. So that's why there are some similarities, apart from the fingers sticking out of the forehead later on though. Then we take a lot of watercolor and water on the little brush and do some spatter. You can of course mix that up with other colors as well. Then we go for the lashes and simply just put them on. We've done that in about 265 million other videos, so we're not that detailed about the instructions here. Some black mascara on that. And on the lower lashes we go for purple. Oh my god, it's me! Back to the lashes. 
Next up, we bring out the High Impact Super Orange Lip Gloss. It's a nice contrast to the purple. Yeah. That purple and the orange works really well together. Bring out the fingers and... What? Okay, um, bring out the fingers. Add latex to the base of the finger as well as your forehead. Push it in place and when you feel that it sits there, take additional latex on a Q-tip and line the base of it. And guess what song Ellie is singing here? Cleaning tea. <laughs> To really make them sit there, you can use paper tissues and latex at the base and speed dry it with a blow dryer. The fingers have quite some weight to them, but they will stick there, eventually, thanks to our trusty old combination of liquid latex and paper. For additional dynamics and dimensions we add a little bit of purple there on the base make it look like the finger has penetrated the skin match that a little bit with the foundation as well to make it look good then polish up the blackness on the base of the fingers and when you are done with that you are done with your whatever we're gonna call this and then it's time to pull the shirt down and go get shot. Uh, by a camera, that is. Thank you for watching this episode of Ellie Max SFX Makeup. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comments. If you want to get your hands on black Elimorph plastic, head on over to ellimax.com. Take good care out there, everyone, and we will see you next time. Goodbye.